Today we're going to fix an iPhone 14 Pro Max that keeps shutting down every three to five minutes. Let's see what's going on. Let's get started. First, we connect the phone to the internet. Done. Now we set a 10 minute timer to see how long it stays on. And there it goes. It just turned off. Let's turn it back on. We connect the iPhone to the computer and open the crash analysis program to investigate why it keeps shutting down. Wow. The phone has shut down 251 times. The analysis indicates it's related to water damage. Now, I'll use three U tools to get more information. We copy the code and paste it into panicful.com. It tells us the problem is with the proximity sensor. Let's try another sensor. We disconnect the battery and connect a screen with a different proximity sensor. Now let's turn on the phone. Let's set the timer again. It seems to be working, but we notice that the True Tone option has disappeared. What is True Tone? It's a feature that automatically adjusts the screen's white balance based on ambient light, enhancing visibility. Here's the thing. If we use a new proximity sensor, even if it's an original part, the True Tone function won't work. Each proximity sensor has a unique reference code that must match the original for True Tone to work correctly. That's why we need to repair the original sensor instead of replacing it. So let's repair the proximity sensor from the customer's original screen. Let's check the affected area. As we inspect under the microscope, we find water damage on a capacitor. Let's measure it in diode mode. Oh no, there's a short. We need to remove it. I'm going to take off the screen to work safely. We carefully remove the damaged capacitor and clean the affected area. It's crucial that the new capacitor is well soldered and free of oxidized residues. It should look shiny and flawless. And once installed, we need to ensure there's no short circuit. We apply a bit of flux to help with the soldering. First, we solder one side of the capacitor, making sure it's secure. Then we solder the other side. After soldering, we clean the area with isopropyl alcohol to remove any residue. Now we check with the multimeter in diode mode to ensure there's no short circuit. We should see a reading that isn't zero. To prevent future water damage, we apply a UV mask to the repaired area. This will help protect the internal components. Let's reassemble everything. We connect the customer's screen and do a final test. Let's see if it stays on. Perfect. The iPhone is no longer shutting down and the True Tone option is enabled. Repair completed successfully. If you like this video, give it a like and follow me for more repairs. Until next time.